Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm with Sophia Williams, who is the Mumbob PT. I'll put her link in the description. And today we're gonna to do a 30 minute dumbbell and bench workout. You can do it as a follow along with us. You're gonna need either one adjustable pair of dumbbells or one heavy, medium and light pair. Let's get right into it. If you want to do a five minute warm up prior to this workout, there's one linked in the description alongside the weights that Sophia and I use for this workout. Section one of three, we're going to do three exercises. There's going to be an incline bench press, a prone row and a goblet squat. We're going to do 40 seconds on with a 10 second rest to transition between exercises. So get yourselves ready to go. So we've got the bench at a slight incline to help target the upper chest a little bit. We've got a nice smooth controlled tempo on the way down of two to three counts. And then we're pressing back to the top. We're trying to minimize the rest at the top of the movement to maximize the time under tension for this exercise. You're gonna do it for 40 seconds. You'll have a 10 second transition between this and the next exercise. Switching now to the prone dumbbell row, you're going to be face down on the bench using the same dumbbells. Rather than have your face pressed up against the bench, I like to be shuffled a little bit further up looking over the top of the bench with straight legs. Your chest and stomach should stay in contact with the bench throughout the whole set. You're gonna pull the dumbbells up and backwards towards your hips slightly. So don't pull directly up in a straight line. You wanna row back towards your pockets a little bit as well. And if you find this uncomfortable on your chest, you could opt for a standing dumbbell bent over row instead. Take one of your dumbbells and we're gonna move onto a goblet squat. Control the weight on the way down. Push your knees out, making sure they're not collapsing on the inside of your big toes. Keep your chest upright. Try not to overarch your lower back too much. And also try not to excessively tuck your tailbone under at the bottom. So you wanna reach maximum depth without any excessive curve of your spine, either hyperextending it or hunching it. Make sure the dumbbell's also not pulling your upper back forwards. So you wanna keep your shoulder blades pinned back and together. And you should get a really great squat hitting the quads well. That's round one of three done in this first section. So we've got another two more rounds, but you've got a brief break now before we go again with that incline bench press. Moving now into that prone dumbbell row position. If you find it too uncomfortable, you can just do that standing bent over row alternative.
Taking one dumbbell, move on to the goblet squats. That's round two of three done in this first section. We've got three sections to this workout. We've got the heavy dumbbell section, which you're doing now. After this, we've got a medium dumbbell section where we'll change the exercises, and then we'll finish with a final third section, which is gonna have a lighter pair of dumbbells. Get ready to go again for that incline bench press. Well done, that's section one of three complete. We're gonna move down to some slightly lighter dumbbells now, and we're gonna do three new exercises. We're gonna do the bicep curl, we're gonna do skull crushes, and we're gonna do dead bug dumbbell pullovers. It's the same format as the first section, doing 40 seconds on with a 10 second transition, and we're gonna do three rounds of this section. Get some water, have a rest, and get ready to go. Starting with a neutral grip, you're going to curl, twist the dumbbells towards the top, you want to minimise your body movement, squeeze the biceps hard at the top, make sure you're not resting on vertical forearms, slowly lower the weights back down to your sides and then go again. Try and maintain time under tension by not resting too long at the bottom or the top. Keep a nice smooth pace throughout and try and get the biceps working as much as possible.
make sure you've got a flat bench for this next exercise and we're going to do some dumbbell skull crushes. Fix the angle of the shoulder so there's no movement between the upper part of your arm and your armpit. We don't want to gather momentum using your lats. You're going to slowly lower the dumbbells down until they skim your ears. Make sure your elbows aren't flaring out to the sides too much and then extend the arms, tensing the triceps up the top until your arms are fully straight. Keep a nice controlled pace going slowly on the way down and then extending through, making sure you squeeze the triceps at the top of the movement. Next, you're gonna do a dumbbell dead bug pullover and you're only gonna need one dumbbell for this exercise. The main purpose of this exercise is to brace your core so that your lower back stays in contact with the bench even when you're dropping your arms and leg down. Alternate your legs, the arms are going to go every time. You want to keep relatively straight arms all the way through if possible. I'm going to start my legs at a 90 degree angle, I'm going to drop it down don't go so low that your lower back arches off. So if you're struggling, just put your leg a little bit higher up. Keep going, keeping that core nice and tight. Round one of three complete. Take a short break and then get ready to go again with those bicep curls.
that's section two of three complete. Good job. Let's move on to these last three exercises. We're gonna do a prone dumbbell reverse fly. We're gonna do some alternating dumbbell reverse lunges, and we're gonna do some lateral raises. You're gonna need the bench up at a slight incline, and we're gonna go down again to a slightly lighter pair of dumbbells. Get some rest and get ready to go for the final section. So you're gonna be face down on the bench with your chest or upper ribs in contact. You want a shallow elbow angle. You're gonna draw your arms out to the side, maintaining a consistent elbow angle throughout the whole movement. A common mistake is to bend your elbows more towards the top. We don't wanna do that. If you find this position uncomfortable, you can opt for a standing bent over reverse fly instead. Next, you're on your feet. You're gonna do alternating leg dumbbell reverse lunges. Alternating reverse lunges. So you're taking backward steps for these. I like these more because I feel like it stops people from over leaning into the knee. People usually hit the hamstrings and glutes slightly better with this variation in my opinion. So you're gonna not let the front knee collapse towards the big toe. You're gonna drop the back knee really close or to gently touch the floor. Keep the dumbbells by your side with a nice upright body posture. Next up, we've got some dumbbell lateral raises. Let's make sure that those dumbbells are coming out laterally. So we're hitting the mid delts. Try and avoid too much swinging or movement with the body. So keep your core nice and tight. Isolate the shoulders. Try and also decelerate the weights on the way down. And try not to tilt your thumbs up too much towards the ceiling. And try and keep the dumbbells relatively parallel to the floor as you do in the lateral race. There's one round down, two to go in this last section. Take a brief break and then get ready to go again with those prone reverse flies.
Well done for getting this far. There's two of three rounds done in this final section. So just one to go. Give yourself a brief rest and let's go and finish this workout. Thanks so much for joining us for that workout. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments how you found it. Check out the Mumbod PT's channel on there and hopefully see you again soon for another workout.